Hey, this is Tisa with Green Organic Love, and I've been gardening for about eight months. This is my eighth month of officially gardening. Nobody told me that it was going to be such a mad cleanup from winter to spring, but <sighs> Where do I start? Where do I start? This tree right here is the nectarine tree. It has some blooms on it. It was covered in blooms last week, but like I said, the same thing happened with the um, peach tree, but it was covered. <laughs> that I just brought from over in the pot and I'm gonna put them in here that one will go there and then give it enough space to grow this one will go here. The next one will grow right there. I grew these from seed. So I'm very proud of anything that I can get to grow. What is that? From seeds. So, as you can see, the sun is now out. And let's see, where should I put this one? This would be okay to come right here. That'll be enough room in between. So I'll put that one there. And then this will pretty much be filled all the way in over here, just kale. There we go. We'll come back and see how that's doing in a little bit. So now I have one more. Uh, let's see, let's put it here. Put it right here. This will be full, just full of kale. Okay, so that's good. Got that in. This one in. Um, so now there's more kale added to this bed. So it'll be, when I'm done with it, I'll put more right there too. This whole bed will just be full of kale, full of my um, stuff that I'm gonna come. I just come right out the back door and right over here to grab my celery and kale. So I'm gonna plant some more and um, I feel like I need to bring something right here. I'm gonna fill this in too, even though this tree is right there. Um, it hasn't produced anything yet, but I'm gonna bring some more right there to um, to plant this hole, right? This little area right in here. And then probably back over there, I'm gonna put kale in. This whole thing is gonna just be full of kale and nothing but kale. And that whole area over there will just be all celery and nothing but celery. I might try to find another area in the garden because I juice so much of it to um, put more of the kale and stuff over here too. So that is going to be all for today, you guys. I'm going to be back to share with... You know what? 
Actually, I'm not done. I said I was gonna plant these carrots today. So let me come right back with this multicolored carrots. watching all of the growing channels and one of the things that I have to make sure that I do is I have to get stuff that is um, very zone friendly when I say that I mean I have to make sure that the things that I grow is not something that can grow in that I'm trying to grow is not something that 
it's grown well in other zones. So as I watch all my gardeners in my zone or in my gardening community and what they're growing, I have to be mindful and I'm excited about them and what they're doing, but I have to be mindful of what I need to get for my own zone. So for this gardening experience and this spring, which I've learned so much about is um, green beans. Green beans grow very well in my zone, zone 9B. And cucumbers. Cucumbers will be growing good for my zone. And let's see. Corn. Corn grows really good for my zone. Let's see what else. And lettuce is also on my list of things to grow. And I'm going to do my best to try to grow some microgreens. So lettuce grows good in zone 9B. Um, and the thing of the matter is when you find out what your zone is, you will be more successful. Swiss chard is on the list of things that will grow well in my, grow, my growing zone. Let's see, and it also said lettuce and spinach. And so I've had to work really hard on um, summer squash. Also is on that list. I've had to work really hard on the things that, um, sweet peppers. What was I getting ready to say? I've had to work really hard on the, and knowing what grows well in my zone. So, um, let's see, what else? And beets, beets and carrots and cabbage too, but I ain't ready for cabbage yet. Oh, look at this different kind of uh, lettuce. This is different than I got. So, um, I've had to learn. And in my learning, I had to, um, develop some patience and start from the ground up so let's see I definitely want to have a million sunflowers growing in uh, the yard my family loves loves sunflowers but I want the ones with the seeds so I think I got enough of those at home I'm not gonna get more plus the seeds I harvested last year um, yep, carrots. Carrots are a cold weather plant or vegetable. Um, so I've had to make sure that I understand that about the carrots. What, what season, what vegetable or fruit grows best in what season? So paying attention to that kind of stuff, I believe this season around will make me a more successful gardener so if you're new and you are looking to start your garden find out what your zone is first i think you should start there and then build around that know your zone know your gardening zone know your growing growing zone and find out the things that grow best in your area and talk to other people that um, are also growing in your area so that um, you will be more armed as a beginning gardener. Because I think one of the things that I did at the beginning was just, I was watching others and I was seeing what they were growing and what they were harvesting, but I wasn't arming myself with the basics. Everything that you do has a, a basic where you start, that one-on-one -on -one where you need to be. And so I didn't do that. So this is the best thing that you can do is start with your growing zone. Talk to people who are in your growing zone. Connect with them. And then if you can, talk to a professional gardener um, or, you know, someone who knows about your growing zone and what grows best. I've been trying to grow collards. Very unsuccessful. It wasn't in the growing zone. It was not, it's not here. Other greens can grow well in my area, in my climate but not collards. So anyway, 
that is gonna do it for me today you guys i'm gonna shout out some people in this video that have been very instrumental in not only my growing my own food or attempting to do so but those who have been amazing amazing people and um helping me to stay focused and don't give up
everybody, I'm back. Like I said, I would be. I am finally home after having shopped at Walmart all day. I want to say all day, but it seemed like it was forever. Um, I was in there for like two hours, just taking my time, making sure that I got everything that I need. But what I want to say to everyone is that I have prepared my house to be in and to stay in, and I will be continuing to work on my garden. I will be continuing to make sure that my house is prepped and completely equipped for everything that it needs. Um, there's people out there and they are losing their minds. Um, I wanna say rightfully so, but I don't know because um, I've been listening and I've been paying attention and I was brought up that way. I was brought up to um, get a little bit extra. Um, don't always, and save a little bit. And so not to say that I have some huge bank account sitting somewhere, but I will tell you that I feel like we are prepared um, for what's going on right now. And I got enough groceries while I was out to last me a few weeks. I have actually been listening to what the CDC is, was saying. When I read that, I started getting my butt into gear, taking inventory. I got my garden, which was to come, but had to pay attention to my zones because as everybody else is prepping their garden, they have things coming up. I'm in California zone 9B and I had to act accordingly. And so I can't, you can't always watch to an exact science on what everybody else is doing. You have to look at your own surroundings. You have to look at your own zones. You have to look at your own bank account and you have to act at that way. And so I wanted to just shout out a few channels that have, first of all, I wanna shout out my heavenly father. He has prepared me on ways that you can't even imagine unless you're walking in these type of shoes. And I want to shout out my grandmother because she taught me so well. And my mom, my mother was a hard worker. She tried to work as hard as she possibly could up until she could absolutely work no more because cancer had brought her down that far. But now I want to shout out some awesome, amazing people on my channel, on my YouTube community that have in this last few weeks really kept me grounded. And I wanna say Carter's Eats. We have been having some amazing conversations about analytics, about growing your channel, about staying on and focused on what you came to YouTube for. And I also want to shout out because in sticking with my niche, I need to make sure that I don't forget those people that have been truly there and helping. So I want to shout out Marlon Music Channel. I had days out there in that garden and he was there watching over the garden on my bird watches and mornings. He's been in my comment section and I just wanted to make sure that I gave back. If you're looking for loyalty, and you're looking for somebody that, you know, is grinding hard and they you want a, a loyal friend, he is that one. Um, there, I'm sure that there are some people else, some others that I probably will leave out, but you know who you are. We've had these conversations. And um, I also want to shout out Led Farmer, not so much because he's taken a personal interest in what I'm doing, but the work that he's doing on YouTube and prepping and survival skills, just the basic one-on-one, -on -one, I paid attention to that. And for those of you gardeners who are really paying attention to, um, he has really got some special things going on over there and his channel is exploding. For that reason so gardening survival skills get over there 
because he's got some amazing things, some amazing preparations going on over on that channel. And I also want to shout out, I've always been a fan of Angela's Busy Bees. Um, I don't know the full name. I think it's Angela's Busy Bees Garden and Homestead or Homestead. But I'm going to get it right. I'm going to make sure I put it right in um, in the comments, in the description box. So um, she's really got some amazing things going on over there in her yard. And the way she breaks things down is on a, a kindergarten level in a way that you can really understand um, how to have a garden and how to keep a garden. So I really enjoy her channel. Um, also, Roots and Refuge. Um, Jess and her family live on a homestead and they started with nothing. And they've built up their homestead to a place where they're teaching others as well on a very basic level. And she did a, a video that I was watching right before I got in to get my stuff done on vegetables um, that are fast growing, survival vegetables. And so I really appreciated that. And so that's another channel that if you are a, a new or a beginning gardener that you can get over to and really start to understand that you have no excuses on why you can't grow. You can grow in an apartment, you can grow um, on any small space. So that is the place to be, you guys. I'm sorry, but not so sorry that this um, is taking such a long time to, this is a long video, but I just really wanted to let you guys know what I'm doing over here and what's growing on in this garden what's growing on in this home. So I try to use these skills to also um, pass along what I'm learning to others. And I just hope that um, everything that I'm saying has been helpful to somebody. Um, and I'm calling out Dining with Zion. She was in one of my lives and she says she got all kinds of stuff growing on in her yard. I am calling you out Dining with Zion. I wanna see some of that stuff. So. I'm going to go ahead and end this video right here, but I want to say you guys stay safe. Stay safe. It's getting crazy out there. I had to have a security guard walk me to my car with my things and um, stay safe. And whatever you do, make sure that you grow with love. Share this video. Share it. Like it. Comment. Let me know what you're growing in your yard. I would appreciate that. And I want to constantly be motivated, but share the video and um, like it. Y'all ain't liking the video. So like the video and uh, grow with love, everybody. Have an amazing day. And thank you for watching this video.